Hello guys and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Silicon Graphics Indie workstation from 1993 and we're going to be discussing emulating it using uh, MAME. Now a little bit about the uh, uh, Silicon Graphics Indie. It was launched in July of 1993. It originally launched with 16 or 32 megabytes of memory but the 16 megabyte uh, option was eventually removed because the developers developing for the Indie were told they were developing for a uh, uh, 32 megabyte machine uh, and that didn't end well and it turned out that the uh, 16 megabytes uh, uh, of RAM for the ND was very slow and basically unusable. Uh, in the early models, you could get a MIPS R4000 processor, and later on you could get a 4400, a 4600, or even up to an R5000 processor, but those are a little more rare and harder to find over the uh, uh, 4000 or 4400 models. Uh, at this time, it was you know launched around the time of the SGI Indigo 2, and it was the low-end option compared to the Indigo 2, and it was uh, coined basically the Indigo without the Go. So first, we're going to try uh, booting in uh, with uh, booting into IREX with the uh, emulator here, and so I've created a little batch file so I don't have to run the command in uh, the command prompt every time. And then I do have, I don't know what this, yeah, that's for the, that's for the bat. But this is some stuff that I need to boot in without it screwing up. So we're going to go ahead and run the batch. Starting up over here. And here it is. It completely removed my uh, OBS window and my notes. So I need those. And here we are. It's booting in to Arx here. We're going to stop for maintenance because we have some stuff we need to take care of. So as you can see here, uh, Arx, uh, it's just regular uh, boot firmware for SGI. And But we before we boot, in order to prevent IREX from kernel panicking, we need to send some commands. So I remember one of them. It is set. You have to type slow because... Uh, well, uh, the emulation speed is not very fast, and it's kind of posing an issue. Um, but set env. Okay, let me get the command. I don't remember it all of a sudden. There, we'll put that over there. I'll fix this in a second. Set env. Monitor h. Send that, and then set env dash f e a d d r. This should fix um, an, a problem with Ethernet. Uh, because networking is not yet supported and uh, uh, emulated IREX. So we sent that. We'll mo I'll minimize this and we'll. F Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Main window is playing a little havoc here. And whatever. We'll take it. So we're done here. So let's give it a boot. And here we are, uh, we've booted up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and log in as root. Oops, what's just happened? Hmm, perhaps, hmm, strange. So, uh, and here's IREX. Obviously it's running a little slow Here's me moving my mouse around. Kind of have to be patient with it for it to really do anything. Um, here, quit. There we go. Don't know how I had that open, but uh, I'm sure I had a reason. Um, and so first, let's go into System, System Manager. So as you can see here, uh, MAME is emulating a uh, MIPS R4600 uh, processor uh, running at 100 megahertz. 
you do get uh, 128 megs of RAM, which was a tip as a pretty high end option because um, the Indy could support up to 256 megs. So this is pretty middle of the road as it comes for high end. Um, you get the 24 bit, I think, XZ Indy graphics and then a A2 audio processor. I'm not very familiar with what that is hardware wise. So we're going to close the uh, system manager. And I should be able to go and start a new console here for you. Oops. Here we go. Sort of redundant. I have no idea why it keeps doing that, but every time I strike enter, it goes full screen. I have no idea. I'm sure it's a problem with uh, MAME. But as you can see here, uh, typical stuff, basically what I've just shown you, but if you uh, wanted to see the hardware inventory, uh, it's right there. All right, so I showed you that. Um, and so I'll uh, click around here a little bit to show you uh, what it can do. Um, I will tell you right off the bat, um, at least in this installation of IREX here, there are no demos. I can get Buttonfly to open, but there's no demos. As you can see, let's see if we try to open OpenGL. It just doesn't open. Uh, and we'll come back to that later, however. Uh, I'll show you something. Uh, and then um, you can get some stuff like this to open, which is nice, I reckon. But these aren't very, uh, these aren't, obviously they aren't demos. Um, this opens. Again, I'd like to mention that I'm not too familiar with IREX, uh, despite uh, me having a very uh, large love for SGI hardware, I'm still not very familiar with IREX as I actually don't own a uh, silicon graphics machine. Um, desktop tools, uh, typical stuff. If you're familiar with IREX, you'll know exactly what's going on here. Um, a cool thing I would like to detail is that um, uh, these uh, icons are drawn by uh, gra by the graphics, so uh, no matter how small you make them or how large you make them, uh, they uh, still remain, uh, you know, uh, what's the word for it? Fine, good looking. Um, so that's that. I haven't really tried to open any of these, but I guess we can give it a shot for the sake of the video. Let's open up this. See what happens. And that opened up pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't have any uh, stuff to, uh, you know, uh, use it with, but uh, I guess we'd give it a try. Sound player, I don't really have any sounds, but uh, if you're interested, opens up just fine. You can see the CPU usage climbing every time we open an application. Let's go over here uh, and we'll come over here to support tools. Um, system monitor. I'm assuming this is where we can view system logs and stuff, given the name of the window. We'll close it. Um, I'm not sure what this application here does, but I guess we'll give it a shot since just uh, for the sake of the video. Aha, I reckon it is a system diagnostic. Finding a lot of stuff that isn't present. <laughs> This, this isn't a real silicon graphics machine, probably confused it there. Control panel, here's your typical settings. Uh, um, let's open up a window, or uh, settings here. So like this is what your typical, it would look like an IRIX.
And then there's some other tabs uh, down here that we can probably go through later. Uh, there is Netscape, and I guess we can open up Silicon Surf, see what it'll do. I don't think it'll work. If you want to see Silicon Surf, uh, you can go to Irix CC, and there should be an uh, archived version of Silicon Surf there. It's going to take a quick second to load. Like you'd expect, it uh, doesn't really return anything. Because as, uh, uh, as I said before, n uh, networking doesn't really work. And uh, we can go through this later. Not a big focus of the video. So let's open up a folder here. user let's try finding demos here open up OpenGL and as you can see here there are no demos present so I'm not able to demonstrate the graphics performance uh, as is I'm sure it is very low right now as emulation comes we try opening something here it doesn't very doesn't uh, fare very well nothing too crazy close let's close these windows here I forgot that I could just double click in the top left um, and so now we can uh, um, just uh, uh, change some things here that I can demonstrate to you let's change the background um, there's Twilight. Let's apply that. <laughs> yeah, and that really screws up stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess that's what happens when you try to use an accelerated. <laughs> yeah, that really screws things up, eh? Okay. Let's try resetting it. Yeah. Oh. Nope, it really doesn't like that. It really does not like that. Okay. Yep. Irix is not very happy with us now. Let's just try applying a different one. And I'm afraid the damage has already been done. Um, maybe a different one here. Yep, so... That's really what happens when you try to select an accelerated wallpaper, because I'm pretty sure that uh, Twilight is accelerated in some way by the graphics. But you do get your typical Irix, um, uh, what do you call them, wallpapers that come in with the OS. There are some newer wallpapers, but since this is an older version of uh, Irix, uh, uh, IRIC 6.0, I don't think they're present. Which is all alright. Question is, is, can I get these to work again here? I don't think I, I don't think I can, but we can give it a shot here. I'll open this here, uh, and this just opens Buttonfly, and as we mentioned before, uh, Buttonfly does not work. Let's try opening uh, that again. Background. And if you give the graphics another chance to like redraw it, it's uh, it uh, it doesn't it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't break. You just have to reload the application. Yeah, cool stuff like that. Oops. But we did screw up the system monitor down here, and uh, the icon catalog is pretty well and totally screwed. It is what it is. And so I suppose while we're still here, I might as well show you uh, the impact uh, on the system performance like I did with the Sheep Shaver video. So let's open up Task Manager. 
Uh, MAME uses a considerable amount of CPU power and around 255 megs of RAM. That's all important for emulating uh, such an advanced system as this one. We'll try logging out and logging in as in a different account to see what uh, it looks like when we're logging in uh, system performance wise. We'll log into this account that, uh, account that I created to experiment with. Let's log in. And it stays uh, the same throughout. Um, I think that's probably because uh, MAME is not capable of taking uh, more than a thread or a core of uh, CPU power. But, um, you know, this is not the end, of course. You know, uh, I do plan, I have other videos planned, um, including a special emulation solution container. Uh, but we're going to go over that in a later video. So I guess we'll shut down the computer now. Uh, if we go over here to, oops, we go over here to system, system shutdown, this is how you shut down IRX here. You can have it power down the workstation or you can have it go back into the boot firmware. I will guess I'll show that working here because I don't think you can shut it down. Uh, MAME can't do that yet. So we'll just go ahead and shut down into IRX here. Right. It says OK to power off the system now. Press any key to restart. If we restart, we boot right back into the firmware. All right, and that is all. I want to thank you guys for coming along for my second video on this YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, looking at IRIX with me in the MAME emulator. Um, thank you guys again for coming along. Uh, um, you can expect to see potentially more videos uh, regarding SGI in the emulation or even emulation of other machines such as the Crimson or the Indigo 2.